Of course, in the middle of this, <coughs> Ashley Hale's not looking any too comfortable. He's sitting there with all these chips in the middle and only a pocket pair of fives. You called out after call. Yeah. What's Goodwin thinking? Think really? Do you think he might call this? No, I don't think he'll call it. Yeah. I don't, he, he's seen Ashley go call the all in with the ace king earlier. He's got to think his ace jack is, uh, is losing, surely. I don't think he'll call. I mean, Ashley limped and now re raised it. It smacks of a huge oh, hand, doesn't it? it? Yeah. That's nearly what you had of me, Dave. Didn't matter. Trying to see if I'm still in, if I get it wrong. Goodwin, known for good decision making. He's no mug. It'll be a great call if he does call. But I just don't think he's going to put. He's not committed, is he? He's only put a few thousand in, so. Yeah, cool. No, oh, it's cold. Wow. Cool. It's a great call. He will not be back wow. down. Mark Goodwin backing his instincts to the hilt. And Ace Jack is a 50-50 spot against the two fives. Ashley Hales, not happy. He's all in. Needs the pocket pair to hold up. You look stupid saying you're a rock, aren't you? That was the idea. Our first all in. Mark Goodwin sending a huge message here. And there's the well, Jack. Is it the Jack? Curtains for Ashley. He needs to hit a five. Well, we saw a five go down. Dave Colcloth folded one. There's only one five in the deck. He's got one card in the whole of the deck to save him, and it's not that. We could have our first walker here. I told you this heat could be over in an hour. We could have our first casualty. Here's the river card. Is it a five? It is not. not. Hard luck, Ashley. And Ashley Hales is good night, Saigon. Down to five players. It was a great call by Mark. I didn't think he'd make the call. I thought another 41,000 was too much. He's made the call. That last hand, Hales put Goodwin in the top spot, but he called, hit the jack, knocked out the two fives, and vacuum cleaner. See you later. Quick as a wink, and then there were five. Jackson's in pain. Is it the internet man? Or Hanekli's El Blondi Colcloth? The Mad Turk has got something to say about proceedings. Well, Mark Goodwin has got a massive chip lead now. It's 198,000. You sell second with 118. And we're down to Andrew Holiday, who still hasn't played a hand on 89,000. All to play for. <laughs> so this game he has everything so nothing. far. Michael. You did. <laughs> so I was just as you as you. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm sat here and not sat uh, there. Uh, I'll tell you what. Any, a good sign anyone out there at home with aspirations of becoming a professional poker player, this should deter you. <laughs> and still we don't see a hand from Andrew Holiday. <laughs> well, you can't blame him. You can't, you can't blame him, can you? You've just got to sit back and just admire these guys playing. <laughs> Three-way here. A lot of limp ins before the flop. Uh, Andrew Holiday in the big blind for free. And it's come two, four, five. That might be enough for Paul Jackson to get deeply involved. Top pair and the straight draw. Yeah, Brian's been going around saying that like, I've been teaching him. What's really been happening is Brian's been teaching us. Now we're all turning into ludicrous. Turn card for free. And uh, that's put a wrinkle in the works here. Yeah, he comes like that card. There's a flush draw now out there for Dave Colclaw. He wouldn't have checked twice, that's for absolutely. Wow, Dave's there. checked it twice. But by the same token, you and if the diamond know. comes, Paul Jackson will be Top thinking two. that he may have checked one too many times. Well, especially if it's a diamond that makes it straight. There could be uh, all sorts of possibilities there. Three checks and you're out, though. Check it again, I'm going to bet. That's Here's guaranteed. the river card and Cold Cloth yeah, setting the up the, the flush. Oh, oh it, exactly. It's made his straight, but it's made uh, okay. it's made Dave's flush. Well, I mean, uh, I've seen Paul Jackson play on TV a couple times, Michael. He's had horrible luck, and uh, it seems to only be continuing.
Pocket queens down the chute. Flush draw down the chute. Made straight on the river. And it's Sai Anara. Wow, he folded! Yeah, great fold. <laughs> he folded a straight! Great fold. My name is Paul Jackson. My alias online is Action Jack. And my occupation is poker player. I probably played quite tight early on. Um, but as soon as the ante start getting up, I'm going to start moving. I'm going to play a lot more aggressive than I normally do. Because as I said before, I keep doing badly in these TV tournaments and I want to at least go out looking good. If not, uh, find it. I'll find it. Back. The only one. <laughs> now, I've folded it plenty of time. Some of them folding babes. Oh. Call for the Mad Turk for 4,000 and Ace Jack has got the King Jack wrapped up. This, a, this could go down as a Hold. look like a it's button still, but <laughs> it's got a legitimate hand. Hold. Now we're going to see a call or a re raise from you, Sohe. 13,000 is the raise. It's it's a pretty big pot here. Oh no. Yeah. Could be a re raise here. <laughs> oh, He's got all I, I thought he was going to do something like this. That's why I said, could we see a call or a re raise? Yeah, you I did. didn't think he folded. Fold, fold. I just, I just didn't it. think he would fold. Well, can't you cannot predict what this guy's going to do. I'd like you to count it, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, this... Effort, it? How many chips he's got? What percentage he's putting? This is a so, huge decision for Dave Colclough, and he is a person who is known for great decisions. I mean, the ace-jack can either be way behind. In this case, it's way ahead. Oh, he's way ahead. He would call, like, in a nanomillisecond if he knew what... Uh, you so had, but obviously got to deduce what he's got. 40, 80, 130, 150, 152 total. Has he got a small pair, so have I got two over cards, or is he...? <coughs> Interestingly enough, the last major tournament Dave Colcloth played in Dublin, he was chip leader, massive chip leader at the final table. He got re-raised with an ace-jack, and he called, only to find the player had ace-eight, and then... Uh, of course, the rest is history. Dave I, came forth. I was there. <laughs> yeah, I was there. In two or three hands, he'd lost all his chips because he got outdrawn three times where he was massive favourite. And this time, he's a big favourite. It'd be one hell of a call if he calls this. Well, he'd be a massive, massive favourite. He has the King Jack dominated, but... How many chips will he have if he folds here? He'll have about 80,000 if he folds. If he calls and wins, he'll have about... Looks like he's... Dude, cold. No. He's folded. He's folded. He's, he's folded. The Mad Turk has done it. He's taken Dave off the hand. Kolkov wow. says, live to fight another day. Yeah. I'll move it back on this day. <clears throat> and, uh, well judged by the Turk. Well judged. Great play. That's his style of play. I've never seen him before, but uh, I'm reliably informed. That's the way he plays. He has just put tremendous pressure on Dave Colcloth with a hand some would call junk. And that's why he's stacking the chips and is very close to the chip lead. Show us how pink it really is. Dice. Lucky dice. They've got nothing to do with poker. Can't take your shirt off if you haven't ironed it. Fold. Thank you. Big hand for Cole. Yeah, that's a good looking hand. Raised. Eight more. Twelve total. Ooh. All right. Oh, oh, well, be this could be. Mark Goodwin's first mistake. Yeah. Colclaw's not laying down the ace. No King, way. Is he? He's going to put him on. He's going to go all in. I can see an all-in here from Dave Colcloth. The, the, the re-raise is 40,000. It may, it may cool. actually be all of Colcloth's chips. Oh. Yeah. Cool. And uh, Dave Colcloth, he waited for a better opportunity. He's found one, ace-king versus ace-queen. Oh. And with a huge chance to double up now. He's in dire straits here, Mark. Ace-queen is one of those hands that you can really lose a lot of chips over. The only good news for Mark Goodwin is that uh, he'll still have about 130,000 if he loses this hand. Yeah. But uh, losing it is what's going to happen unless a lady pops. And that's changed nothing. No chances of split pots either. 
No, that king is going to play at all times. If, unless it comes running threes or running sevens. Now 